Uh, hello YouTube, um, so if you're here from clicking on the link, or if you're here from YouTube, then, uh, the link to this project will be in the description, but if you're here from clicking on the link on the Scratch project, uh, then we'll get right into it. So basically, here's how it works. When you make a custom Wordle, each, uh, letter has its own code. For example, A is Wordle. Each code is six letters long, and if I put a ton of A's, it will always just be a pattern of Wordle, Wordle, Wordle. Anyway, each, uh, each letter has a code that will al always repeat, no matter how many times you put in that letter. So if I had A, the first dig the first letter of is Wordle, it, of Wordle is W, and if I put a ton of B's, the second letter of the B code is P. So if I were to put A, B, I would get W, P, because the first digit of the A code is W, and the second digit of the B code, which is the second, or which is the second letter in my word, I'll get the second number of, or I'll get the second letter of the code. I don't know if I explained that very well, but basically I have a scratch program here that's way too overcomplicated and could be simplified a lot, but I'm not going to because I don't feel like it. Um, and I basically just assigned, I made a variable for each, uh, pattern for every letter. This is super laggy because I have a ton of plugins and stuff. And then depending on how long the word is, it just extends the pattern, which is, this isn't the best way to do that either, but it works, so I don't really care. Um, yeah, it extends the pattern so it can take more digits than just six. Then it creates a list because that's just, I, I don't need this list, this list is actually pretty useless. I could just use the variables, but I'm not going to because I already have this. Um, and basically, yeah, that's, yeah. And then whenever I run the project, it'll ask for the URL code. I close out of custom Wordle. Um, oh, by the way, this for specifically the one by Strive Math. But if I were to Toidal King and generate this link. Um P C P W W O E B X. Basically it'll take the length of that, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and put and set the this variable to nine. And it uh, sets current digit to one. And then it repeats pre repeats this um length times. But this is super over complicated, but again I'm not gonna fix it. So basically if the since we're at, since current digit is one, if letter one or the first let letter of our answer is equal to letter one or the first letter of item one on the array, then set answer to whatever it already was and add an A to the end of that. And then it just keeps doing that for every line of the array. Well it actually it's pretty much just a list. Uh, and yeah, it deciphers it. So right here I have Toidal King. And if I copy this code from the URL, I paste it into here, it'll give me Toidal King. And I can make this whatever I want. If I were to come here and put this, generate link, as long as we copy the link and put it in, it'll give me whatever I put. Uh, and yeah, basically that's how it works. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.